So today we're going to start with one of the really simple basic ideas and concepts that you're going to use in all of your economic analysis classes problems and that's the idea of equilibrium. Basically equilibrium is the point at which a competitive market is going to supply a certain amount of a good at a certain price. So the first thing we're going to look at is what equilibrium means graphically. So if we start with our basic supply and demand graph, we've got our supply with a positive slope, this would be our supply curve, and we look at a downward sloping demand curve, D. And as always with these graphs, we've got our quantity on the x-axis and our price on the y-axis. So looking at it graphically, really simply, equilibrium is where our supply curve is going to intersect with our demand curve. So if I were to have a problem that asked me where equilibrium was on this graph, quite simply, it would be this point right here. And if we draw our dashed lines, this is going to give us our equilibrium quantity and our equilibrium price. And those are usually shown with what's called a Q star and a P star. All right, so that's what it means if we want to look at the graph for equilibrium. And this is really good because then we can really simply uh, look at what changes in our demand and supply curves are going to do to equilibrium. Let's say our supply curve was going to shift to the right. I could really easily draw a brand new supply curve on here, supply two, and I can automatically see just by looking I've got a new equilibrium that's going to take place at a higher quantity and a lower price than what it originally was at. So that's the easy part, that's the simple part. What you're usually going to run into when you're starting off with equilibrium is solving for it. And to solve for equilibrium, we're going to have to work with our demand and supply equations. So let's say that we're given a problem that says our quantity demanded, usually shown with a QD, is equal to 14 minus 2 times the price. And our quantity supplied is equal to 2 plus 4 times the price. Your demand equation always going to have a negative in front of that price. That's why we had a downward sloping demand curve. Your supply equation is always going to have a positive number in front of that price. You think about it logically, the higher the price, the more I want to sell to you. On the flip side, for the demand, the higher the price, the less I'm going to want to buy. That's the concept behind it. So if you remember from the graph, we just want to find where our quantity demanded is equal to our quantity supplied. So using some basic algebra, my quantity demanded is 14 minus 2 times my price. I want to set that equal to my quantity supplied, which is the same thing as 2 plus 4 times the price. So now I've got an equation where I can solve for what my equilibrium price is going to be. So when I solve this, this is going to give me my P star. All right, so if we go back to real basic algebra, we want to get all of our variables on one side and all of our numbers on the other. So I'm going to start off with subtracting 2 from each side. This is going to give me 12 minus 2P is equal to 4P. And then I'm going to get all my P's on one side. So we add 2P to both sides. So this is going to leave me with 12 equals 6 times the price. All right. I'm going to move this up over here a little bit. Start over. If we divide by 6 on both sides, that's going to give us 12 over 6 is equal to P. We know that simplifies to 2 is equal to P, which is going to give us P star. Okay, so that's half of the problem. We've been able to find our equilibrium price. Now, once I find my equilibrium price, it's really easy to find my equilibrium quantity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 2 that we got and plug it right back into either one of my starting equations. It doesn't matter which one because this price is that occurs at equilibrium, which means it's for both quantity demanded and quantity supplied. 
So I'm going to try plugging it in to my demand equation. So I'm going to get Q equals 14 minus 2 times 2. Plug that in for price, which leaves me with my quantity equals 14 minus 4, which is going to simplify to 10. And this is our quantity demanded at equilibrium. Okay, so it's that simple. For any starting problem, equation, equilibrium, just take your equations, make sure you've got the same variable on both sides, set what's on the right side of the equation equal to each other, use algebra to solve, what you find at the end, plug back in, and you've really simply got your equilibrium quantity and your equilibrium price.